Okay, what we're looking at here is a test part for a reservoir I'm making. It'll be the first reservoir uh, that I've made for a PC that has moving parts. This is a tipping tube. It's uh, based on the same idea of this ancient Japanese fountain idea, the Shishi Adoshi, the deer chaser. And this deer chaser reservoir for PC will have a tipper that tips into a ledge that will make a little waterfall and there's a little waterfall above it on a ledge that has a hole that will fill it. So let's take a look at the tipping action of this test, this prototype here. I'll just use a jug of water keep it simple. And the flow of water is not going to be tremendous. I want to make about a quarter inch hole so you can have water flowing into it like this. I'm going to try not to move the jug so you can just see how it works. have it so it's right on the edge of it. The hole, I want the hole to land the water right on the lip as much as possible towards the front. So I'm trying to hold the jug in one place. As you can see it's a very successful tipper. It uprights itself nicely and it completely empties took a little while for me to figure out uh, the weights, the counterweight on the bottom, the pivot point, all that good stuff. The reservoir is going to be about 9 inches across, so I'm limited to this size arrangement right here. We're right up at eight, about 8 inches here. This little tube, okay, we've seen that happening. This little tube's about 7 inches. I'm going to have to leave at least a half inch clearance for it to swing, right? And then we got the little piece that I want to be able to glue it on. Don't want to make it too hard on myself. So I want to make sure that all my pivots and everything are working and everything is set up perfectly. And then I'll glue that to the inside of the reservoir. So it'll be a sub-assembly. What's even going to be crazier is I'm going to work out so that I can have one here and then another one over here. So they're tipping across from each other into side waterfalls that are on either side. I know it's probably making it a little too complicated, but I think it would be awesome to have different rates of flow so that one of them is tipping faster than the other one, and to have different levels and whatnot. But I'm limited to a 15 by 9 by 6 box, so let's see how much I can pack into it. It should be an interesting project. Deer Chaser for PC.